Yes. Uh, I, I brought up several times before, and it's getting a little bit <coughs> redundant, is or are the three drinking fountains in the park. You have one, two, one by court one, one by court two, and one in the mini park. I happen to see the one in the mini park probably three or four days a week is he and I do our two to three miles because I always have a package to drop off in the garbage can. So I check it. It is usually stopped up. I send an email to Eric and Luke <laughs> saying, hey guys, it's plugged again. And usually it'll get unplugged and a couple days later it's plugged again. And my question is, and I've hit it in emails, do, what can be done to replace those so we don't have this plugging problem? I don't go around and check the two by the tennis court, but I don't, maybe once a month when I walk the dogs, but they're always plugged. And I don't know if anybody else in the room ever does that, but it seems like maybe it's ironic, maybe it's me to walk around and find out they're plugged. And I've seen suggestions to Luke on, hey, these are alternatives that work. <clears throat> maybe like the one over by on the other side of the fire department. That maybe we go, how do I, or who should I be talking to to get this to happen? I think it's very non-professional, the CSD, to have drinking fountains out there <clears throat> that don't work. I mean, people want to drink. There's no water. And I know there's problems at the mini park, and I've told Luke on it, is I found out I'm crammed full of crap in the drinking <clears throat> fountain. I don't know how you prevent that. I have no idea, but I have found it. It's about the same thing as people dumping their full garbage into the garbage can and all over the ground down in the mini park. And he gets emails from me probably two, three times a week. And I know Eric knows because he gets a copy of every email. So that's my question to the board. Who do I talk to or what shall we do to get this problem corrected? I have seen solutions for for drinking fountains which are very low budget that would do the job. I don't know. I just get frustrated is when you go up to a drinking fountain and you turn the water on, and the water doesn't flow down. Mm -hmm. Understood. <clears throat> okay, I have a question. Sure. Um, wasn't there something at the last meeting, a uh, recommendation of how we could fix these water fountains? Do I, am I recalling this correctly? I don't know that there was a recommendation on how to fix them. It's something that we deal with several times a week. Um, to be clear, they do work. Water does come out of them. You can't get a drink of water. They, the drainage gets backed up on a lot of them because as Bill pointed out just now, they get stuffed full of wood chips or any other things that are around that kids take their hands on and shove into the actual bowl of the water fountain mm -hmm. itself. Well, let me clarify on that one. I don't believe that I've seen it happen a few times. But I don't believe you can walk around the park and find it with all of them. You find nothing in the drinking fountain on many occasions. And I've been in here like four or five times now, emails two, three days a week, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I believe what Eric's saying is, yeah, it does happen. Maybe 5% of the time, yes, as I mentioned, I did see it happen. But there's the other 90%, the damn things don't drain. We need a better system for draining them, or we need to replace them. And there are other alternatives to do this. The one over by the fire department, it works. I don't know if it doesn't maybe get the people over there, who knows. But I think it's something that either the board designates somebody to look into, I thought maybe the Park and Recreation Director was looking into it, but apparently nothing's happened on that. And maybe the Executive Director has, but nothing's happened on that. All I do is pay the damn taxes, and I'd like to see it be working. That's what I'm paying for. Maybe there's something I don't understand in that. But I know there's always tax increases, I don't know where they go, because it sure as hell isn't taking care of the problem. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you for your comment there. Okay, this is a, um, a repetitive issue. Can we get that assigned and have somebody look into this, please? Um, yeah, I mean, we've looked into it. Like I said, we have the park maintenance crew goes through there uh, multiple times per week and tries to flush out the line the best they can. It's an issue with the drainage line. Uh, it's not replacing the fountains. It's something that we've budgeted at this point. But I am, uh, obviously, I don't need to explain it, but we do have limited resources and a lot of priority projects. I understand that. Um, what I'm understanding then from the executive director is this is not a priority in the running of the service district to make sure the drinking fountains work. Is that correct, Harry? Uh, at this point in time, it's not a project that we have budgeted nor that we have planned. Do you plan in the next 10 years to budget? Because in the last two years that I've been bitching about it, you have not budgeted. Okay. Well, I, I'm not going to comment out to what I plan to do or what we're going to do in the next 10 years, but it's something we will examine. Okay, and when should I, may I ask, when should we expect an answer, and this should come from the board to the executive director, when should we have an answer with firm numbers in it? Um, I'll take this offline, if you don't mind, I'll, okay. just, I'll figure out how to respond. All right, and you can respond to me, Jeff? I'll do my best to do that. Okay, thanks. My number's in the phone book, and Eric and Luke has my email. Understood. Yes, Stephen. I have two comments. First of all, there are four drinking fountains, and one of them never clogs, and that's in the fireman <coughs> picnic area, and that's yeah. because it's designed to drain on the ground. This is similar to the fountain that is that I actually emailed copies to Eric and Luke several times. Um, basically, it's a very simple uh, design that uh, built with redwood. And there's no problems with drainage because it just goes into a dry well. And there's also commercial things that you can do mm -hmm. that you don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to construct it. But it's so easy to construct. Uh, one guy could do it in an afternoon. So this isn't really a problem that uh, should be, uh, uh, we should be talking about. Um, it's disappointing. I guess Eric didn't see the, the email, but uh, he did receive two of those emails with two photos. I'll be happy to forward this to you, Jeff, so you know what we're talking about. Like I said, it's not a big deal. I would even volunteer to do it if you paid me for the materials. It's, it's so simple. But.